Well, I think it's time now to deal with the controversies and beyond. The yeah. new face of steroids, uh -huh. Alice Rodriguez, yeah. cheating that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Victor Allen's new new sports. The Neil Urban look at sports, written, directed, and produced by Victor Allen. The man the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. Here he is. They don't do that. Here's Vic. They don't. They don't nickname me Sexual Chocolate. chocolate. Now, I know who they. I know who they. The sexual mouth chocolate. in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> That's wrong. I know where the wow. sexual chocolate. There's sexual chocolate right over there. <laughs> there you go. All right, you guys, you know how it was uh, yesterday, and you know how it's going today. It's the day after, and, of course, the only subject everybody's talking about. And I couldn't ignore it, but I always say, you know, it's, it is what it is. All right, Alex Rodriguez, everybody knows he's been suspended, and, of course, for 211 games, but he doesn't start that suspension until they go through the process, such as the union saying so he's basically suspended, he's suspended, but he's still there. He's still there. So they go through the, the process. process. So wow. it's, th 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 this is how... <laughs> This is how an organization has game. And when I say a, a game, they can say they can put up the illusion that you're the bad boy while they made a whole bunch of money off of you mm -hmm. for the years and years. Everybody knows this philosophy. And I kept saying, you know, I had to ask this question. I said, you know, he's a new face of steroids. You know, it went from Mark McGuire to Bobby Barry Bonds. They both overlapped each other. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, you're talking about how many games. Canseco. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's a bad one. It's a bad one. He just went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but but what, what I like about this <laughs> is that forget about how many games it is. The part there's, it's two stories is and I'm not gonna harp on the one that I say is the one where I'm not gonna get a lot of fan followers on this one where the unknown baseball player is the one who's trying to get out of desperate needs, mainly those who are in, have been, of course, uh violating but through the drug policy have been penalized as well. So the Latino players. And they put a good perspective on this. They say, the early ones who can't afford a can't afford drugs. can't mm. no 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 no. Do you know what they said? Imagine yourself leaving your country because of what happens in your country. Your yes. plight. You know, it's an exodus. Yes. Now, of course, when they get here, our rules get into well. You know, you need to do it by the process. But imagine that you're sitting there going like, steroids is my last concern. You guys already have it. I'm just coming over here to take it, the benefit, right. and I don't. Mm -hmm. Even if I play for one year and I'm guilty, the money I make will be more than the next five or ten years where I'm at. True. Which brings me to this question. I'm not worried about if Alex is going through this. I'm saying, is cheating really that bad? That's the question today. Now, I want you to understand what I just said. I gave you the, the poor, disenfranchised player. And you he phrased only... <laughs> the question in a way that suggested. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not suggesting it. Okay, let me do it like the pastor. Cheating is really bad. Oh, you want me to do it like this? Cheating ain't that bad, bro. And all of us have done a little twist in our game. You're saying it's all relative. I'm just, you yeah, I cheated on my diet. <laughs> that's what I'll admit to. Wait a minute. I had an extra banana. <laughs> so wait a minute. So so you know, I only had one banana. So let's just say this. <laughs> Is it true? Isn't it true that we all need a flashpoint person to rally around stories? True or false? Yeah. <sighs> Do you need a flat? Forget the system. If they talked about baseball and say, here's the system of steroids. You pay attention when it's the system of steroids, or do you pay attention when there's a name tossed yes. in? That's right. So Alex is it right now. So I'm going to say. Well, we all sinners, but that don't mean that we want to just embrace yeah. letting everything I go all hog wild. I didn't say. Did you hear I mean, me define know, it as hog wild? Well, that's the thing. I didn't we, say that. We don't like to, I, I personally don't like to point fingers because. So often I feel there but for the grace of God go I. And mm -hmm. then there's the things that I've done in my life. Right. All of us have those things. Like I used to say, remember I said before in the show, how many of y'all stole some money out your mama's purse? Exactly. How many took money? Come on, you took some money out of mama's you know, purse. First stone, I, I left my out. mama a post-dated check when I was six. Half of y'all, you know you weren't even supposed to go in mama's purse. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So, How many people took clothes right. from their parents and right. took an outfit from their sibling when they weren't paying attention and took their jacket or took their shirt? Right. You know? <laughs> right. I mean, we, there are things that we do. Or how about this? How many of you have walked through the grocery store Ooh, great. and ate some food? Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Cherries. But Did Vic, what? But Vic, I don't know. See, I, see, I think, but Vic's point is relevant. That's what I was saying earlier. And, um, 
in a game where right now st steroid and pr performance enhancing drugs are so prevalent and with the attitude of the public I just like to quote the studies I love to go look and see because they always do these studies to see what people think and one of the studies they did said that basically the public don't care about steroids yeah. that was so bad when they poll the public they're like so really uh, can I they, turn on the game, really? Right. If the gang's the game better, can you give him some steroids? Right. <laughs> All right, because no. we'll send you some if you'll play a little better. Right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way the players, I mean, excuse me, that's the way the fans are. So it's hard in this world right? where people don't. But on the other hand, are we willing to go there, Vic? It's like people, you know, they say that 85% of applications include lies. Mm. resumes they're yeah. just not true I, I, yeah look I, I i'm just see what i want to do is there's a part two to this it's always a part one because it's the baseball issue and with the baseball you know they always say that if you are considered a cheater you know the conditions of you cheating are relevant only when the public has got the microscope on you but when the when the public got don't have the microscope on you you know you get a lot you get away with a lot don't we we get away with a lot. I'm just saying. Yeah, because it's a cheating when you sneak that punch in in football, <laughs> no, right? Or that elbow in basketball. Are you uh, right? Is that cheating? Is, is it cheating? And we, look, <laughs> and they sneak them in now. Right. So uh, let's just say this. Let, let me let me try to bring it this way. They are coached to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the part that I I don't want to get involved in because I'm not a baseball aficionado mm -hmm. in the sense that I have a pipeline and I know the story, so I'm not going to pretend to be that. What I will say is this. Okay, we know Major League Baseball always is in the game of saying we have to serve up somebody and play the role. Mm -hmm. Even though we were a party to this, and admittedly, during the 90s, we couldn't stop anybody, and everybody had no system of being able to prohibit the, the flourishing of steroids or HGH. Now, with that, they're catching up. Mm -hmm. Only in the way that they have a process, not getting ahead. So now they go say, let me go and validate the contracts, which is, you know, some of these players are not performing up to par. So let's go after them since they've already done what they are doing. So I don't believe in the retro penalty. I, I really don't. You know, somebody's going to say, well, why not? I say, I don't believe in the retro penalty. That's like Mario saying, you know, um, no, I'm not going to go there. See, I know Mario. If I put him on an example. Yeah, because, you know, I got to. <laughs> right, well, see, but wait. you're right, Vic. So the club say, hey, we owe him $50 million. That's right. Let me make a call. Uh -huh. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> hey, he's using steroids. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go watch him. So you know what I'm saying? He's using steroids. No. I'll get us out that sixty million, Bob. Bam! <laughs> hey, thank you. See, let me ask you this. You're, you're, go ahead. Was he fined like twenty five million or something? No, no fines here. No fines. See, the only thing they can well, do the, is well, the fines would be when you lose, miss the right. games. Oh. You don't get paid. paid. So, oh, I see. Which, which is like a which job. Which is why the you can see how the, the New York New York Yankees they owe him a hundred million dollars. Now you can see how they might be thinking, well, hell. Now, now watch this. 100 million, baby. 100 million is. People disappear for now, less. <laughs> now, now let, me, let, me put, let me put Kim Kimberlin in, wow. and I'm, I'm going to say it this way. I'm going to say, that's your man. Uh huh. You want him to keep that cheese, don't you? Or do you want him to stand up and say, you know, baby, you, you know what? You know, you got to be true. You got to tell him you did it. Or you say, you know what? Don't you, don't you give back that money. Why would he give it back? To Thank you. Money? See, it's an easy answer. See, the condition oh. changes depend on the people involved right now. Why would he give back the money? Because he has to, well, you want to be true to form. In other words, they're going after him to prove that he's been involved by his own doing, by his own choice, to some degree, so they can invalidate the contract. And they can go legal. See, if they don't go legal, if they don't take this to the court system, everybody's going, well, if you don't, if that is $100 million oh. worth going to court, you guys are not going to court. You're just really trying to find out if you can suspend him so you can take away from the games play that he's not played. But he still has years on his contract. So we understand that. But right now. 42. Oh. Right. Right. He has a contract that's supposed to last him. Right. Oh. See, so the part is, is he sits there and he's, he's suspended technically t through the end of uh, 2015. I okay. mean, 14. So he'll be about going on 42 going like you know i'm a bad excuse my language i'm a bad bitch i'm getting paid all this money i'm 42 and then doesn't have to play that much yes. so here's my question this is 100 million is 100 million. million that's right so right now you got you got <laughs> a hunt vacation Thank see you very much. and your and it's your man so uh, that's right your woman was saying get right. your ass up and right. go to work <laughs> i need to get some new shoes <laughs> see see i'm saying kimberly's sitting up there going like you know they're talking about you baby 
Yeah. A lot of conversation. You like front page news. And he says, baby, it's $100 million left for my contract. Which side do you want to be on? And what is your answer? A uh, hundred million? <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Okay. We going to fight this. <laughs> I got you. It's on now. It's on. I got you. <laughs> you got you. So you see, depending on, and now that leads us to part two. And everybody. Everybody going down. That's right. So now, now I'm going to leave you a part two. Somebody involved. Now, here's the condition. I went up and said, you know what? Here's the, I'm going to give you some line items here that I read that said, you know, I'll be 40 and even better than ever. And then, of course, is cheating really that bad? Well, let's find out if it is. If you're cheating, which one is appropriate here? And you can just holler it out and see that's the one as I read them. Oh. Uh, number one, don't care about character. Number two, don't care about teammates except if you have my back. Three, baseball, of the Hall of Fame is a cinch. Because they still seem to get them in the Hall of Fame eventually. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> get your money. <laughs> Woman loves successful bad boys. If you're bad in life, you're bad in bed. Ouch. Oh. Oh, okay. This is the new age MLB player. It's changed forever. Mike, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds showed the players the way to do it. The MLB code. We don't turn on each other except for greed. No oh, bullshit. Okay, so let me just say, now which one sounds more appropriate? Because obviously doesn't Alex and many other players come under one of these creeds? What do you think is the real reason? Do you think it's this is an extensive list? That's here. right. Now, I'm, why do I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to pick them out. Watch. It's real simple. Bitch better have my money. Get your money. That's, that's two. Baseball, Hall of Fame is a cinch. Hmm. Don't care about character. Hmm. Don't care about teammates except you have my back. If you're bad in life, you're bad in bed. Yeah, we know that was not true. There's a whole bunch of people bad in life tearing the bed up like a mofo. Bed is burning, baby. Right. Yeah, they say, I may be bad. You just take that one off. They take that one yeah. off. Right. See, well, yeah, I make it worth it. <laughs> The devil start looking kind of good to you. <laughs> see, that, see what I'm saying? And I got to do some Mark, dirt. Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds showed the way because yes. look what happened. So what's more appropriate here? I would tell you which one. Anything sound? Is it greed? Is it because people got off with steroids without really the penalties that they're trying to get them off now? They haven't been able to be successful at that. Is it but get your money? Or it's the attitude, bitch, better have my money. It's one of those. See, it's going to lead me to this last point that I'm getting to. It's this part where I'm going, you know, when you go down the trail and you think about how you're processing um, what he's doing, what is his mindset? I would say greed. Greed, straight out greed, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's, we're talking about players. Alex Rodriguez being on the court by himself. Of having to deal with certain things. Now I see. No, he's guilty of the same old stuff. <laughs> Everybody else is guilty of. Oh wait, what is that? You know, uh, being petty. Uh, like you said, it's a lot of these things there. You know, selling out. Will, you know, some being willing to whore yourself to me. Right. Mm -hmm. For for certain things. Okay. You know, and I don't know. You know, I bet it doesn't bother him. All right. That he cheated. I don't yeah, think they usually find think, a lot of yeah. I don't think they. Can. Why would you be bothered if you see a pack of people preceding you who have gone through this? The only the and, only way it why? bothers you if you grow up with a certain degree of integrity about the way you live your life, right? And just because you have the opportunity to do things doesn't mean that you always do them, right? There, there, there is a point, even though, like I said, for many of us, that would be a choice moment, right? Whether or not to do the right thing or the bad thing, but there, but but believe me, I'm sure there are people who would just say no. I, go ahead, Kim. No, I was gonna say, well, maybe you know, Lance Armstrong is probably thinking a little differently. Yes. right now, yeah. because, right? You know, yeah, yeah. You don't, you know, what you don't realize. He's an excellent example. Right. right. He's an excellent example, but of the, wanting to win at any cost. But here's the part that I think these cats are just a step above. They've already seen examples of, ahead of them. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they've already gone through the scrutiny because you don't need steroids for people to be hating on you. No. I mean, it's just more people putting but, you in the yeah. microscope. But, so if it's a hundred thousand that hate you and then you go through steroids and it's a million five, I'm going, you still got people that hate you regardless of how you play the game. Yes. So 
think about how when you're under the microscope, even when you're at your best, that people still are haters. But it still shines a light on you. Let me remind people. Barry White presented his woman with a prenup agreement on the way to the wedding. <laughs> Is that? I got balls. But I ain't got balls like that. This asshole. Because some stuff, even the guys go, oh, jeez. On the way to the wedding. That's what I'm saying. Presented her in the limo she with the prenup. And now they headed toward this how many hundreds of thousand dollar wedding. <laughs> Very and he told it, her, you can sign no. it, we can turn, we can stop the car. <laughs> that ain't that bold. Now, of course, that's why some people, when, when Barry Bonds was being, you know, charged, people were, who, who gave a shit? People said, I don't, who cares about Barry Bonds? Nobody. Yeah. Right. You look up the word asshole, they have his picture. Okay? <laughs> All right? But this is, again, so that goes to show you, to me, like I bet you, in other areas of their life that they also do not have integrity. Uh -huh. I like the, uh, DeVoe, I want to give a shout out to you because you are the only one that commented in a certain way expeditiously about bad in life, you're bad in bed. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, that's not necessarily <laughs> that's not true. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what I'm saying? So here's the part that I'm tripping off of. Bad in life, bad in bed. Also, some other comments. Uh, you know what? Um, Mac. <laughs> Mac <well. laughs> I, look, the part is, is this. The, everybody knows this. The, the biggest machine, the, the biggest complex that has absolute control, that, that you really can't go after Major League Baseball. They they have a get out get out of jail free card for whatever they do. So you really that's why I like yeah, yeah. him fighting them. Yeah, right, right. That's like the whole the two point. bullies at your school. You you hope they would kill each other. Right, right. You when the two bullies got to a fight, you would just please die. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. All right, now now let's. It's, it's funny because here's the part that I'm going to tie it to because I do believe your individuality. I do believe in the spiritual connection. I believe in the greater good. I've always done that, but don't get it twisted. I do not put my false over to somebody else to enact what I think is best in their best interest. I do say that if you are a bad, bad man and you can get away with a bad, bad situation, then I say is cheating really that bad? Well, if you have a girlfriend, you have a bad, bad <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> now, a bad, bad wife. <laughs> I just say, <laughs> somehow you get them, somehow. <laughs> right. See, this is what I'm saying. But often they will sue you too. Uh, wait, see, here goes my question. This is my question. Now, yes. it's just appropriate. Now, girlfriend, that's Tori Wilson. Now, whether they're together, still seeing each other, that's not the point. The point is, is we're not in the bedroom. We're not in the house. They, they can still be together. As far as I'm concerned, they're still girlfriend and boyfriend. Which one's the girlfriend? You know what? Stop. Stop, man. Stop. That's not right, man. Alex Alex earned his keep to a certain extent. He just stopped. You know what? You know what the problem is? Alex is like anybody else. When you get past 35 and you're knocking on the door of 40, no matter how good you were, things change. That's why I asked. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're hoping yeah. uh, the roles change <laughs> on your knees. <laughs> so here, so here's my question: Should the girlfriend, the spiritual soulmate, the the person that's right there going, mm. you cheated with steroids? Mm. Does that mean you cheat in all your relationships? Do you think that's a warning well, sign? If you're, if you're, here you are the day before. You never knew your oh. soulmate. So he was All taking, of a sudden, like, well, I just, are you lying and he didn't have no shrinkage from the steroids. <laughs> right. Because you, you go like, man, you get some little peanuts. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Could it be those drugs you're taking there, Alex? Because you got the testicles of a three-year-old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, Let me... They never had the lights on. They, you know, <laughs> see, see the part. I, I, and your voice is getting a little high, I, too. Wait a minute. Let me do this. See, now I know Mar well, Mario and, and, and now I know Kimberly's putting in perspective. They say, mm hmm. But I'm putting you in that position. For Mario, it can be a, a woman. Mm -hmm. Women can take steroids. Uh, for Kimberly, Hello, you're sitting. So <laughs> I'm trying to get me some. I need, so, I I need some enhancement. <laughs> so wait a minute. So here's the part. First of all, oh you know, I, I, I've, I've always been an advocate of the part that you say, if you find out that your soulmate was doing something and they never told you, 
but you find out that this was what's happening. At the point, do you see them when they walk in the door? The first time the news dropped, mm. it's like Jason Collins when his girlfriend found out through the news the day of that he said he was gay. And she didn't she know. Lord. She didn't know. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, right. no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, Mar, I'm going to give her the benefit you. of that. Yeah. I'm going to give her the benefit I of that. I don't know how you Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I he know. sleeping on his Wait stomach. I know this. I'm saying this. <laughs> I, I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Can I well, try on your undies tonight, honey? No, 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 wait a minute. See, the part you is... You mine. The part is this. Let, let me say this. That's a whole different conversation because we wow. knew and we know of that the down low is real. And there's yes. nobody on this planet can pick out everybody and say, oh, I oh, know. Hell no. No, you can't. We hell know that. No. So, let me just say this. Here you are. Baby's walking up. It's your man. It's Mario's woman. I'm going to go with you, Kimberly. For mm. Walking up the first day. You hear this is what's up and you get the same information. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that if it's your significant that you should know about stuff like this? Or does it make your relationship stronger when you learned about it the day of and said, they all after you, baby, I got your back. Which role are you taking? Because now it's a character question, right? Yes. And now how do you feel? Well, first we'll be having a conversation like what the is going on mm -hmm. with this okay. and uh, how long you've been doing it. I want to know everything about it and, and why why are you doing it? Why did you do it? Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything else I should know? <laughs> and there always is. And there always is. Put what? it all out on the table right yes. now. And then we can uh, uh, assess yes. the relationship after that. <laughs> Wait a minute. The bow says, not me. I got to see my whole stand next wow. to him on the podium. <laughs> no, 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 like Wiener's wife. <laughs> Why well, I'm sorry I was texting. My wife is standing by I, me. No, oh wife is looking off into the sky. <laughs> I'm not standing behind you. No, no, no. Texting. So sexting. So wait a minute. Now, and I'm saying this. Do you now look at him as the potential of being a cheater, not only in his career, where it's a lot of money, versus being in a girlfriend, boyfriend relationship? Can you separate those two and say, oh, he's an honorable boyfriend? Or would it ever come into your mind? There's some pause here. Well, I think most women go, I don't know. I, you know, all ballers, baseball, sports guys, you know, I would say 90% of them are probably cheating. And I think the women involved That's with them kind of know. <laughs> wow. Kind of know that they are. But, you know, if Accepted. I don't see it in my face, then I'm okay with it. Right. Like a lot of politicians, because they wives. want the perks, right? Right, the perks that come along with it. Um, so, no, I would not be that type of female with the to uh, settle for that type of relationship. So, y y based on just all the perks and yeah. the money. Yeah. So, after we got down, now there are some guys who are truly honest, and 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 maybe he did the steroids only. But we want to have a conversation about everything. Right, because you're involved on the periphery. You know yes. why? Because media knows how to go after the significant people around and put you in the mix yes. just on photo bombs. Yes. Now, there you go. Well, they're waiting for somebody oh, yeah. to right. respond. So yeah. you're collateral damage, aren't you? Now, if somebody comes up, oh, uh, this is my baby daddy or something like that, then that's a whole, <laughs> you know, that's a whole other conversation. So the, really, I think yeah. the answer you're saying is what the women are more apt because they know the kind of man that he's is that the character issue doesn't come into question once yes. the steroids come in. That yes. was already addressed way ahead right. of time. So you ride or die, aren't you? Yes. You're right. Mario, ride or die with your woman with the reverse roles. No, not for that. Even though, the quote, some of your so-called founding <laughs> fathers, people are more disposed to suffer while the evils are sufferable. In other words, they'll take shit just they, as long as it's something that they can take. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can try to push them to that line, yes. <laughs> the imaginary line that you can cross. But in general, people will take right. shit. It's just yes. a matter of how much. Yes. You can cheat on them and cheat on them, and then they'll go, finally, one day I've had enough. Done. Right. But they're 56 now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so right. You, now you're tired of his cheating. <laughs> He's about ready to quit cheating now. <laughs> You yeah. might as well stay. I mean, no, I mean, I'd rather die if if he's not if he hasn't done anything to affect our relationship on our on our level. You got it. If it's all about him and the steroids, then that's something that you know, very disappointing that he would do that or felt the need to do that. But then I want to know who all is involved because, you know, then everyone needs to be accountable. 
There you go. So, so what stays on the field stays on the field. But when, yeah. when you're at home, you show domain, right? Yes. Yeah. See, I like that. Ride or die. Don't you? Do you appreciate that, Mario? Well, I do, but obviously the chat room is writing some shocking things. <laughs> you know, first of all, here we have our Earth Mother, right? I know. Devoe. <laughs> The Empress DeVoe, who's absent. This is her chair. Oh, right that's here. Not... This empty ass chair. I thought she was <laughs> but, supposed to be here. And she's in the chat room <laughs> trying to, you know, trying to make excuses. No, no, because she's uh -oh. taking care of mom. Mom's. No, no, not yeah. I'm talking about for the cheaters. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Are you yeah. guys paying attention to yes. her opinions in here? Yes, I am. Uh -oh. You know, DeVoe, we, we try to find out, find out what DeVoe's past includes. Hey, oh. look. Because she was kind of down on the cheaters, but then she said she would get them back. Hey, look, <laughs> DeVoe said, I won't tell if he doesn't tell. So she's right or die. Oh, yeah. oh don't do that. Don't do that. Can I have the credit card again. <laughs> okay. I tell you. So, so y'all good for that credit card. So here, 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 here's I know my, I can get that credit card after Saturday night. So let me say, Mark, so are you a ride or die, man? Me? Yeah. Oh, for the proper thing. Oh, wait a minute. For the proper thing. Hey. <laughs> wait a minute. Your girlfriend, soulmate. Same you know situation. What? I don't. Am, when when people that I love do wrong, I'm the one who says, "You know, I was gonna tell you that was wrong." Yeah. Right? Yes. I still they, love you, but, but they I, know. I, they I, know. I, but I ain't gonna go. Ooh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! No. I don't see. Right. You know. No, I see clear as shit when shit yes. go wrong. Right. My, my eyesight go twenty twenty. Yeah. Ping. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, no, no, no. So no, I would not be. I to me, it's not being a friend. Really, when I support you in the attempts to do wrong, if you've done wrong, I can be supportive about how you deal with that mm -hmm. wrong. I don't necessarily have to turn you in, but I can be supportive of you making yeah. change in your life. But I'm certainly not going to be one who celebrates no what no. you've done wrong. No. I hate when people do that. Yeah, no, it's no celebration. No, no, so never, yeah. no, yeah. no. See, collateral damage is is knowledge too. It's yeah. really knowledge. And we are in regular everyday relationships where we know we don't get 100% of all the information just on a casual tip. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take you before you're with that significant that you say you're going to learn everything about me? Plus, right. and DeVoe's <laughs> trying to say she don't cheat. DeVoe, <laughs> see, you ain't never cheated, right, DeVoe? You just, see, there's a definition of cheating. <laughs> See, everybody has their own definition. Should stop, man. I, so DeVoe's trying to say she's, I don't cheat. I did, you, does that mean now, deny, this minute? Deny. Hey, I don't cheat either as of today. <laughs> now, you nope. go back 10, 15 years. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might look like a different man. <laughs> but today, my body's a temple. So here's it. So, so here's the, because this is the part I love is the condis conditions of everything. So at the end of the day, here's your exit, que exit Free love. question. Free this is the exit one. Is cheating really that bad? Kimberly. <laughs> See, this, oh, I love it. God. I love it. I love it. Yes, cheating is bad. <laughs> Look at she's. Wait a minute. Now, here's the part that I know what Kimberly's doing. Where are the clouds? Where, where's the lightning bolt? <laughs> let, let me be honest. You went to the higher calling. Mark, yes. yes. Only if you cheating on your taxes. <laughs> See, I'll I give didn't you a say, pass no, on that he, one. He not. I said no conditions. And didn't sometimes I? It's, okay, no right. conditions. It depends. Well, <laughs> is cheating bad? No, really. Yes, cheating is bad. Really bad. That bad. Really yes. bad. So everybody in this room. I didn't say well bad. We think we're <laughs> how bad. <laughs> we're it's man. bad. Everybody. Let's agree of badness. <laughs> it's bad. No. Like, no. You know, it's bad like leaving the light on. No, no. Or no, like leaving the no. water running. This is the part where we're doing reflection. Not changing your underwear. See, if you say no, you have to look back and say, I'm supporting my action, what I've done. If I say yes, then you have to go and say, please let me go up and get my pittance on. Because you know what you, it's cut and dry. It's black or white. And I love this part because conditions always work in your favor. Well, Alex Rodriguez is going through some conditions. The first condition is. The, the Major League Baseball knew about steroids. Yes. They didn't do anything to even forewarn any of the athletes or players or everybody seeing it happen. They didn't say this is coming. Mm -hmm. They just said, okay, let it roll, let it roll. So while the home run derbies are going, everybody's all into it. Now all of a sudden, people are catching up because the industry now is affecting. You got children, you got the kids, you got all that mm -hmm. coming up. So now they take on the holier-than-thou attitude. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, so that makes cheating okay? <laughs> no, I didn't say See? it's okay. I just said, is cheating really that bad? 
Yeah. Okay, that's all you had to say. Except when you're taxing. <laughs> I'm done. That's my new new sports is over. Gets to get out of here. Poor Kimberly's going like new I don't want to be Just cheat on your taxes. <laughs> don't cheat on your woman. And it's okay to steal exactly. from your mother's purse as long as it's changed. <laughs> no real bills. You know, it's okay to take 50 cents. <laughs>